Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how you can fix the media offline error for your assets inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. So what this essentially is saying is that Resolve cannot find the assets which you are using inside of your project. You may see the problem pop up in your timeline and also in the media pool for each of the assets that are missing. So given that it can't locate where those files are at, then presumably you would think that it's not in the original folder where those assets were found. So in this case, I've changed the location for where this file was located. I can see where it thinks it's located by clicking on the file, checking the metadata in the top right. And we can see here that the file was originally located on uh, C drive users, Chris desktop. But if I actually check my desktop, it's no longer there. So I need to be located. Now, also we want to do that while not having to change our edits down below. If we manually add the item back in to the media pool, uh, that would work. However, it would not relink with these items in the timeline, the edits that we've made. So if I go in here to my GIMP thumbnails folder where I have the file, I can drag the same file in here. But as I mentioned, it's not gonna link up with these timeline edits only this original file will. So what we need to actually do is to right click on the asset which has the media offline problem and then go down to change source folder so that we can tell it where the new location where our file is at. So in Windows File Explorer, I'm gonna copy this location which is D drive videos, GIMP thumbnails and we're gonna paste it over here for the to location. So we're changing from the current location and we're changing it to this new location. I'm gonna hit control V, paste that in there you can also browse to the folder, which is going to open up your media storage locations if you set those up inside of the media page of Resolve. So either way that you go ahead and navigate to where the file is now, you go ahead and hit change, and that's going to update the location for the file. And if the file is still there, then it's going to update everything in the timeline and you'll be good to go. Now, if you happen to accidentally delete your file completely, you may be out of luck. I would recommend though, check your computer recycle bin if you're using Windows and see if it's located in there. If you're lucky, maybe you can find the file on the recycle bin and restore it to its original location. So one other way you can restore your asset would be to return the file to the directory where Resolve expects it to be. So if I minimize Resolve right here and we open up that thumbnails folder, you can see I moved it back to the desktop again, this audio FX Resolve thumbnail. So if I drag it back into the thumbnails folder, which is now the new location where Resolve is looking for the file, then I can go back into Resolve and it should update things automatically here. So the file's once again restored to the timeline. So hopefully with this tutorial, you were able to restore your file to Resolve so that you can continue using it inside of your video editing projects. Thanks for watching. I've been Chris, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.